Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to turn any animal to humanoid avatar in Icon 7. Let's have a look. This is my example where I already successfully turned three animals to humanoid avatar. See. Hi, my name is Doggy. I am from Icon 7. Now you can see this tree these three animals now already become humanoid avatar and can perform any of the any of the eye motion here. And you can see this dog can talk with VSAM, can talk with lip sync, just like human. Hi, my name is Doggy. I am from iClone 7. See. Hi, my name is Doggy. I am from iClone 7. Now this dog also have have the VSAM, have the lip sync and at the same time I can apply any of the motion file just to apply it then Hi, my name is Doggy I am from iClone 7 you can see he can walk like walk like a human all of these are humanoid avatar now so I'm going to save this project and I will demo again from step by step, I will show you how to turn any animal to humanoid avatar now. So I start a new project there. <clears throat> then, as demo, I will go to the prop there. Under the prop, the 3D life prop, we have a cat, we have a dog as well. I will test on this dog. Just, drop, just drag in and click edit in 3D exchange. In 3D exchange here, what you can see, if you control D, you can see this is the human size and control A, you can activate and toggle the world axis and this is the center of the world, the origin is here. So what, what you are going to do is take the, the, take the origin as the reference, you drag down here. Drag it down and then click convert to non standard. At the, at the beginning, this is a prop. So now you can see you have this. If you rotate this, okay, the red color is wrong, the blue color also wrong. So control Z, Z to undo. I try to rotate this. This is a green color, green as this. And then you must make sure that after that you move down the leg. It should be at the center, at the origin. So now control Z is to undo. Now this is the bone that we are going to move. It is here. So this is the one that we are going to move it to the center, near to the center somewhere here. Just because this is the distance to make sure that the leg is, is at the bottom there. So what you are going to do is just cancel it. And yes to cancel. And then we are going to move click here and press W once you see this again you check how much are you going to move it so it is about this distance alright I cancel again but yes so now I just move it to the front just a little bit like this. So now click convert again and try to see again is that after after you move it this way The leg can be at the center or not at the center. 
So you still need to move it move to the front a little bit. Press W. Make sure that the leg, the foot is touched the center, the origins. So click again now. I double click this. I just wait. Just rotate the green color once. Now I can make sure that the body is straight. And then I want to move the leg just to move down in that way. Another side here also the same. Double click the tie and then move it down. Make sure both sides are balanced. And at the center, the foot should be at the center. Alright, next. You can see this one already straight. So what we are going to move is this part. Just to make it straight in that way. And now you can see it is just a little bit not as straight as you think. This part. Just to make everything straight like a human. And here you must make a T-pose. This as is wrong, Control Z to undo. Here also, okay, so you have to move it that way. And here, move the green color. The green green color gizmo. And next, you may turn the head a little bit. It is up to you. Just to look if look to the front. And you must make sure it is the T-pose. So next, you have to move the, the, the arm to make sure it is T-pose, that's all. Alright, this part, you are going to move it as well, just to make sure it is T-pose. Once, once you are satisfied with the T-pose already, you have to adjust the hand to make sure it's straight. Yeah. So now you can see, this part is a little bit wrong here. We must move it back. Make sure it is straight. Here also. Right now, here is another bone. I have to go to behind. You need to be very sensitive to the to the axis. So now, as as long as you feel it is already become a T pose, then you can convert it. Now, I will start to to map the bone. To make him become a humanoid avatar, what I'm going to do is plot the head and then plot plot the hand. Wait. This one still need to be up a little bit. Then we'll be fine. Now this hand need to be straight. We need a perfect T-pose. Next, the upper arm 
the lower arm and the hand is barred. The upper arm, the lower arm, then the hand at here. The hip bone should be here. Wait. The hip bone should be this one. Then the vertebrate. This is the spine. I plot it here. And now I'm going to make all the foot be straight. So this one. It has a little bit bent. What I need to do is just to make it make it more straight. All right. So now I plot the tights. And plot the leg. Then finally plot the foot. All right, the tail you must make sure that it is bent, bent to behind. Should not go in front. There is damn funny. Now done once done already you may just click active then click convert now this dog already become the humanoid avatar and now we are going to export this export to iClone you can just just direct click apply to iClone in your icon here, you can see he already become a humanoid avatar and this humanoid avatar wait, you still lost you still have one more step to go this one, I, I'm going to delete it first one more step is create the lip sync you, you go back to convert to non-standard there go to here you can see this is the jaw bone Okay, I'm going to double click this. Double click this bone. And then you you map to jaw. Net, then you convert again. And click OK. Next you go to the expression editor. The first one. Alright, you look at the second one. This is the jaw. The jaw to open. You may you may not want this. The red color sometimes it is at the green or the blue so clear again we want we want him to drop the jaw as much as possible then set it next is the vsam the vsam you want you want some of them to open the mouth like ah this one Alright, the R also do the same, so you can duplicate it. To copy this, here use Ctrl V to paste. Here, Ctrl V, Ctrl V, Ctrl V, here, Ctrl V. And then the rest, I'm going to make the mouth smaller. For example, this. Then I set it. This one, I copy. And here, Control V to paste. Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. Now everything well set already. Just close it. And then apply to Icon again. Now this is the updated version of the avatar. Now we are going to try the lip sync. As demo, I will just click here. Then create the script. As demo, I will use the TTS. Of course, you can record your own voice or just use the audio file like MP3 or WAV. As demo, I will just use the TTS. Then, I will type here, hi, my name is Collie. 
I am from Iclone 7. I love 3D animation. Alright, now I click OK. You can just observe this dog. He already become a humanoid avatar and can have the VSAM, can have the lip sync and talk like a human, just play. Hi, my name is Kali. I am from iClone 7. I love Sandy animation. Alright now, it is really awesome. You create a script just now. It's using the TTS. And just now, you can hear some of the Mandarin words, the Chinese word, just because of this is the Chinese simplified. You read the number just by using the Chinese. Of course, here you can choose the English as well, the English Australia. Hi. My name is Kali. I'm from iClone 7. Then I click OK and try to play. Hi, my name is Kali. I am from iClone 7. Now you can see the lip sync is perfect. Next, I'm going to apply some of the motion file. The motion file will be here, the animations. Under the motions, I may just want, want him to dance. Hi, my name is Kali. I am from iClone 7. Now you can see it can use any of the iMotion file or RL motion file to behave and perform like a human being. And he already become a non standard avatar. And he also can use any of the iMotion and RL motion file. You can use it in your 3D animation to make. Make your 3D animations more fun. Alright, that's all for today about how to turn any animals to humanoid avatar in Icron 7 and let them to perform any of the motion files of the human motion file and any of the talking animation, the lip sync, the human slip sync. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, Hi, my you will receive is the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy I am happy animation seven. and game developing. See you.